Hey, I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, this movie I'm going to talk about right now is called The Upside. Actually, this is a movie based on a French film called The Intouchables. And it's about a wealthy, white, quadriplegic French guy who hires this black former prisoner to take care of him. You know, to change his catheter, to feed him and things like that. And in fact, the Untouchables, they made over $400 million. The film was great. It was warm and appealing. Now Hollywood is trying to do the same thing with the upside. A lot of times when I see these type of films where Hollywood tries to make English version, a Hollywood version from a former film, they usually don't work out that well at all. Well, here you got Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston teaming up to make this film, well, try to make it marketable, try to make it successful, and try to make it appealing to the worldwide audience. Well, did they do a good job about that? Well, of course, here, Brian Cranston, he is the paraplegic he needs help. Kevin Hart just got out of prison. He has problems. He can't see his son. His girlfriend is mad at him. He's behind his child support payments. He got a parole uh, officer, things like that. So he lucks up and gets to this audition or an interview for the job to take care of the Brian Cranston's character. Of course, he gets hired. You know that if you saw the Untouchables. And you know what happens throughout the whole film. This is one of the problems that I have with this film. It's predictable. The other problem I had with this film, too, is that, well, I knew what was going to happen. But what I did not know was the pairing of Kevin Hart and Brian Crashton. Man, they really work great together. And this is a funny movie. I don't think it's supposed to be that funny, but it did turn out to be hilarious. And not only that, it did touch your heart a little bit about both lives of both of the characters in the film. That's what I truly enjoyed about it. And again, I thought Cranston played this role very well because, you know, this guy's a great actor. He can play many roles. And Kevin Hart, haven't seen him in many roles But in this one, this is a little bit different, and he really came through. It was entertaining. But this film is not as warm as the Untouchables, the French version, but it is good, and you will root for these characters. I enjoyed it, and I thought the director, Neil Berger, well, he touched on this film, too, because he hired the right people for this role, including Nicole Kidman, And he also directed this film where the actors truly understood this film and wanted to play this film the way that Neil Berger and the script called for. I feel the cinematography, too, was very good for this film, too. So I'm going to give this two and a half palm trees out of four, just two and a half, because it was predictable. That's the only problem that I had. But the acting was good, the directing was good, and things like that. So this is a better than average film. Hey, I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Hey, I really appreciate it that you watch my review. You are watching yeticket.com with Al McGee. Movie reviews and interviews. This is yeticket.com. Y-E-Ticket.com, your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. Y-E-Ticket.com, we are your entertainment ticket, that's right.